Hey guys, welcome back to Terra God New World. In today's video, we've got the patch notes. So we're going to go through the patch notes, then we're going to go into my account and give you guys an update because we are into a new week. I kind of messed up last week, so I want to go through it, show you guys where we're at. So... Patch notes coming on the 20th. There's the times. Pause it. Have a look. Get your times. I'll also leave this link in the description so you can go and check it out for yourself. Find your time zone. Pretty standard stuff that we're getting. Uh, three hour, 10 minute uh, maintenance time. So what have we got coming? We got God, Data, the big daddy coon. Okay, that's who That's who we've got. We got this bad boy coming. SSR plus. Dude looks savage. Animations were wicked in the trailer. Looks wicked. Have to wait and see. Don't have full kit yet. Then we've got the assassin coon chick who looks absolutely amazing. Apparently, she's not that big in the story, but I think she looks so wicked. And I hope she is a purple carry viable assassin. It would make all my dreams come true. And then I could just pull all my summons on her, which I've got like 120-ish saved up, I think. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Probably get nothing, but hey, it is what it is. Then we got five full festival costumes. We saw a bunch of them in the trailer that we saw uh, for the festival, so we'll get them and have a look. Uh, assuming it'll be the same, where we get one probably free-to-play available, and then the rest will be paid. Not too sure. They're probably going to mix up the way they do this event a little bit compared to the last time. So we'll have to wait and see, or they'll just mess it up again this time and give us a big compensation, which I would also be happy with, so I don't care. Shinsu Link rank S2. You know this thing is going to keep coming. They need sinks for whales. Uh, they need a reason for that resource to exist in the game. So yes, it is going to be an endless pay-to-win thing. Idle games always have these things. Some people get pissed at it. You just got to accept that that's part of what it is. They need to keep giving whales an advantage and a reason to keep spending, and they need to have these power systems in it. It's just the way it's always been. I don't know if they need to, but that's the way idle games have worked for Forever, and I believe they will always continue to work and so until someone comes up with some crazy new strategy that makes a company more money. So that is what it is. Uh, new event, the Coon Family Festival. Cool Beans came to see the event, came to see how they adjust it compared to the last one after the, the issues that they had with, uh, you know, player feedback and stuff in the last one with the big compensation that they gave us and all that sort of stuff. Uh, then we got new event. Uh, we got the boss battle. So this bad boy is going to be a boss that we fight by the looks of it. So keen to see that. Uh, hopefully there's some good rewards in the boss battle, but I'm tipping it's just going to be kind of like the previous event that we have where maybe just the final stage is the boss battle or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, full festival exchange shop. Once again, we had that in the last one. Honestly, the exchange shop worked really well in the last event. There was nothing wrong with that. Uh, I like the way you do the stages. You get the stamina, you burn the stamina, you get the stuff, and then you get it from the exchange shop. I think the exchange shop in the previous event worked really well. The problem with it was the gotcha thing that they had in it, which it doesn't look like they've mentioned it, so they may just not have that sort of thing. So we will just have basically the previous event without that gotcha thing so instead of having 10 pulls into something we get no pulls into it as free to play is the kind of what i'm thinking they will do just so they don't get backlash on it we'll have to wait and see uh fall festival celebration check-in event cool beans more freebies for daily check-ins uh new event fall festival missions we had the missions of the previous one i don't think it's going to be any different to that so honestly from what we see in this event it looks like the exact same as the last event except we don't have that pay to win section of it uh but we don't have a free-to-play option for it. It's just going to be not there. So that's the way I'm looking at this event. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if anything changes. Uh, then we've got the two trial events for the two new characters. Uh, we've got the Assassin Growth Missions, uh, which is great because we want to get that extra free two copies for me personally, because I'm probably going to go for at least three copies myself, even if she isn't a carry viable character because she looks pretty sick. Uh, then we got new content, the Guardians Test. Um, I, I'm not too sure exactly what this one is. They they hinted at it before in the, in the, uh, in the dev notes, but not too sure exactly what that's going to be. We'll go through that when it drops in the game um added uh, the the new adventure buff system administrator's blessing it's kind of like uh you just if you try a stage enough times you get super overpowered for it and then you can clap it but you can only do it once per week kind of like mercenaries if you look at it like that so that is that one 
new lobby background festival area uh, festival arena entrance so honestly I, I i think in this game the lobby backgrounds do make a different feel for it when you log in so actually more, most games i don't care about these things but this one i actually don't mind it so happy days we get a new one uh whether we have to exchange for it or if it's just free i think it'll be free through the event like the previous one was we'll have to see summon a teammate system improvements free summon times five feature added i love this daily five summons give it to me ssr bonus a special slot added uh so that's gonna be like your ssr plus wish list curious to see the exact workings of it and how it works when it drops in the game but we will check that out new products other bug fixes and changes i'm keen to see the full patch notes on bugs and uh, bug fixes and changes because there may be something little in there that sounds little but could be a big difference on something kind of like when they fixed data as a hard no longer rebooting your team's uh shields which was pretty big for me but that is the patch notes that are coming but what i wanted to do is i wanted to jump over into my account give you guys a little bit of an update uh, i didn't make a video yesterday i took the whole sunday off i didn't make any videos i uh, just spent some family time it's now school holidays uh so uh you know kids are taken a bit more time off of me so i don't know if i'll have as many videos plus i'm trying to do star rail streams uh on twitch to get the, the goodies over there for that game as well so you know busy times let me just click this uh let's hope we don't lag out i'm hoping you guys can give me some luck and get me some yellow gear i've had no yellow gear luck recently what is going on with these loading times are you kidding me there it is okay rip rip nothing okay so what happened with my account last week I kept holding out on using my uh, my mercenaries from friends and I kept slowly pushing through. The problem is we got to like two hours before uh, the reset and I had not, I'd only used one mercenary, which was on stage 24 was the one I used it on. Uh, Cause that stage was just way too hard for me uh, with this, this enemy combo. It was just doing my head in. So that's one that I did mercenary. We actually managed to clear 19-20 without it. Um, but 24 was this tricky one. And then close to reset, I was going to try and use a mercenary on uh, 32. And I did try using, I tried using like a uh, rainbow star Evan Kell and it just wasn't working working as well as my runs with my own Ihua. So I ended up just doing it with my Ihua instead. And I ended up not using two of my mercenaries. So for me, I think that's a lesson that now I'm going to use my mercenaries as soon as I feel stuck. Now, which means I would use it on this stage. I can easily clap this side. This side's a bit tricky. I, I just struggled to do Ihua against the um, against the five purple team. Uh, but I, I'm kind of waiting here because we are at 159 and 179. So I want to get to that uh 181 type stage which i'm not gonna have the shinsu for i may have if i pop all my shinsus in the bag we'll have to wait and see uh, but i kind of want to get that limit break before i pull the pin and use my mercenary on this one um but i think these are just tricky stages this guy the problem with him so i i uh, the reason i struggle so hard using ihua against this team is this guy his ability here where where is it uh deals damage to the enemy with the highest attack even when my ihua has her shield on that attack one shots her so as soon as this guy uses it it one shots her and i can't get an evan ult off before this one shots her and that is my ultimate problem with this guy he just destroys me whereas Farian can survive it so at least i got a chance so i'm gonna play around with this and see how we go um but in general we're still progressing pretty well. Uh, you know, we didn't get a chapter in the week. We, we we got just under a chapter for the whole week. But I'm still pretty happy with that progression. We got uh, five more stages to clear, and then we will be into chapter 20. And then it's one more chapter until we hit that new stage. Now, we do have the summon save dub. So I've only got seven here, but we do have the 43,000 gems. Uh, plus, we've got the extra logins coming as well. I believe the login event still has uh, the countdown check-in event. Yeah, so we got a 10 pool coming tomorrow as well. So there's there's plenty coming. We're going to have the festival. So we're going to get a ton more summons. Uh, so I'm thinking I'll probably get another 200. I'm hoping by the end of the, uh, the, the event, 
I should be at another two SSR plus pities. Um, pretty like within the next week or so based on rewards we're getting and stuff like that. So that's where I would anticipate myself to get, which hopefully we can get some copies of a new carry and also get our Ihua. At least give me one copy of Ihua so I can get her to four orange. Uh, so she gets that extra HP because that would probably help, help me where I'm at. But in the last, uh, you know, ton of summons, I haven't really had any luck. But, you know, that's pretty much where the account's at. We got the, uh, the other thing we did do during the week is we got our Huarian 235. Uh, exclusive equipment um, obviously we have the Ewa as well now the next ones I was going to look at was going to be uh, Evan and Bomb but because we got the new characters coming I want to see them and see if I go ahead and use that investment into them first into the new characters you can see here well I can actually do two of them to level 10 which is fine but because I'm so short on the others I'm kind of waiting to see because we need 300 of these to uh, get through everything that we need to do but I do also if we go over to the shop uh, if we go over to the arena shop, I do have a fair bit stacked up here so I can get a little bit of resources. Honestly, it's not too much. I'm, I can get pretty much, I'm just under 60 of the, uh, the purple ones. So these things are getting a bit scarce, uh, but obviously we'll keep working through the, the trials and get as many as we can. But that is pretty much the account update guys. Like I said, patch notes 20th, it's coming. Get ready for some summons. It's going to be fun times as always guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.